the Scarborough Library to be opened the week after Carnival. Panmen and Calypsonians get financial help, and Diaz and Fire rule THA personality and Calypso competition. Info update. Bringing you the latest news, views, and, and reviews, reviews, along with responses, comments, and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. The Scarborough Library will be opened on Monday, February 23rd. The facility will be commissioned the day before, that's on February 22nd, but Tobagonians don't have to wait until then to register. A statement from the Division of Education, Youth Affairs and Sport indicated that this can be done by visiting the library's website. The library offers a number of new services. There will be a section that allows parents to sit and read with their children. A room has also been specially designed for the visually impaired, and on the first floor, adults will have access to computer literacy and writers' workshops. There's also a multimedia section with an interactive screen and eventually, the library hopes to introduce spoken word sessions. Also on the list of new services is a dedicated section to books on our West Indian heritage. The new library hours are Mondays to Fridays from 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and on Saturdays 8.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. The Signal Hill location is now closed. That housed the library while the new facility was being built. Switching gears, let's tell you that steps have been taken to ensure that steel pan music remains an integral part of Monday and Tuesday Mass in Tobago. Omadara Mills has that report. Licensing and insurance caused the Tobago faction of Pan Trinbago to complain about having live steel pan music on the road. They felt it simply cost too much. The Division of Community Development and Culture stepped in and together they found a creative solution to the problem, Pan City. The chairman of the Tobago faction of Pan Trinbago, Marie Toby, said this means Pan sides will be stationed at a central location. There we will be having all our competitions be judged down at that end there. And I'm saying to all the Pan lovers, we will be down at the Coast Guard base for 2015. She said discussions have begun with the licensing department to make special arrangements for Carnival 2016. I'm Umadara Mills for Info Update. Staying with Carnival, 10 Tobago-based Calypsonians will represent this island at Skinner Park tomorrow for a place in the finals on Dimash Grand Night. It's the first time so many of them have made it to the semis, which prompted the Secretary of Community Development and Culture, Dr. Denise Soyafat Angus, to provide them with financial assistance. The money should help them with preparation costs. I felt that if we are committed to uh, growing the cultural industry and the creative arts, then certainly uh, you deserve it and therefore we have to stand behind you and just be prepared to give it. One of the finalists, Kenneth Thomas, whose sobriquet is Punchin, will also be singing Bullying Phenomenon. He spoke on behalf of the other artists. I, I must commend you and your division for the gesture and I want to assure you that we will make you proud and by extension we are going to make Tobago proud. Each of the artists receive a grant of $10,000. And the THA Interdepartmental Calypso and Personality Show returned to its original venue, the Shaw Park Complex, last night. In case you missed it, here are some of the highlights from Caroline Wallace. Diana Kwashi from the Division of Education, Youth Affairs and Sport took the title of THA Personality of the Year. And this is how she celebrated. I grew up as a Rika girl, always home, don't go nowhere. As soon as I was introduced, I kind of had to say I knew. All gone, all, all, all gone. Gone. Walking, walking up me bottom and jogging, jogging all over my tongue and they say. Harista Adams from the Division of Tourism and Transportation had to settle for second place, while the third spot was given to Andal Jerome of the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Services. Joseph Clinton of the TNT Fire Service won the THA Calypso crown with his song, The Power of the King. And police man, their job is to keep peace right in this land. But some taking the law in their own hands by abusing poor civilians. Dr. Soyafat Anger says she looks forward to witnessing the various activities to be hosted at the venue. A home that will be shared by your brothers and sisters, Pan Fraternity, Calypso, Mass, Sports. I am Caroline Wallace for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I am Lois Vincent and you've been listening to Info Update.